Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to phase one of the tour. Been talking about this for a long time. Gotta go get Lunkers right now. He is getting his vessel worked on, wrapped, getting some special looking stuff for you guys. Uh, and we're taking my vessel. And we are gonna begin the tour of East Texas. Bass fishing extravaganza. It begins now. I know you got some special stuff already kicking it off. Things that we've never even seen on this channel. <laughs> I like it. Y'all will figure more about all that weirdness as we go along, but we're going to be probably doing a lot of sight fishing, so we're trying to give ourselves some helpful tools and hopefully give you guys some, some helpful tips and tools along the way. So today's kind of a travel day, but we do have one lake in particular that we're thinking about stopping at this afternoon. So this is what the back of the truck is looking like here. Ready for the bears. The bears, the tigers, and the mondos. Rob's just getting some last minute terminal selections ready to rock. I wonder if those things at Tungsten fell out. I hope not. Alrighty y'all, we've been on the road for a little while now. We're getting close though. All the pine trees, the greenery you can tell. We're deep in the E. It's looking pretty fresh, pretty good. The main thing we were concerned about was water clarity. They've obviously had a bunch of rain out here, but this lake has enough grass modules in it that help keep it clean. Bass like to spawn in clear water. They can see each other, it makes things a lot easier. So finding clear water on the lake definitely helps. We got grass in there, that's a huge help. Down here in the south, we got hydr hydrilla, milfoil, things like that. And I think we're just gonna go straight after looking for, uh, for sight fish. It's just the exciting. We know what's gonna happen, the water's 66. There's no way they're not on beds. If they aren't, then Rob is, can't come up with anything exciting right there. Stay tuned. Okay, got a little stomp action. Don't really know anything about this lake, so we're just kinda idling around. We're gonna put the trolling bar down, see what happens. All right, let's go. Put my little jacket on. Oh my God. Is that a fish? What is that? That's a... That's an alligator. He's got an alligator on. What in the world? That, that's an alligator. That's, that's not a bass, no. That thing was like four feet long. Whoa, two bass just freaking chasing each other right there. There's one under that bush right there. Oh, I see that. I see his tail. Yeah. yeah. There's one, another one over one, here too. One on. Behind that bush. Oh, okay. I see his tail barely. Yeah, he's like right in there. You're sticking with the program. I like you. There's a bigger one. I just saw that. Yeah. I just saw that fish come It's going off in there now. It's kind of like... I got one here. There's one over here. It's just sitting off. Ooh. Oh, just rolled. Just rolled and whipped. Oh, you got him. Nice, bro. He did turn... Dude, I, this one at first was nothing to do. Now I think I've got a little chemistry figured out on this guy. You got him. Yes. Came over and slurped it. Ah. Right on the kitchen mat. <laughs> All right, we have not moved. Me and Rob just stuck two fish right here. And uh, there's a few more about. So that was fun. That, at first, that fish was not going anywhere, guys. Like, I mean, no, it wasn't locked. It was just swimming around like it was just not in the zone. And then this was a fish that I had to literally just like, I had to pitch and pitch and kind of surprise it. And then it started kind of getting tighter circles and eventually just honed in. Go back and do your business. Boy there, he's over here to the left hand side. He's like looking right at you. He's like, hey, you trying to film my house? It's going, oh man, he's hard charging in. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Sorry about that. He came hard. Am I on the wrong side, you think? Uh, no, that's fine. <laughs> That's what you need right there. That's the All right, good. As soon as you got off that ladder, he goes back. Really? Oh my gosh. He comes in there like Speedy Gonzalez. There we go. <sighs> okay, there we go. Nice fresh one. Entering in the latter part of the evening here just saw a mondo boil action in here after a bluegill i'm assuming just gonna take a moment and uh throw a few things in here 
Oh my gosh, she's still up there. Oh gosh. Oh, there's a boil right there. Did you see that? On the back side? No, right there on the side. Yeah, I do see that. Left side. There's got to be a fish there. That's the dock, though. And I don't know if those fish are residing to the dock, but... Oh, there's definitely a bed there. Definitely a fish there. You see it? Back side of the dock. There's a bed right yeah. there. Yeah, we got a turn. You see the fish? Yeah, I camouflaged myself in here. There might be a chance. Oh, got him. You got him? Yep. Oh, going under the dock. Come here. Oh, sneaky little one there. That was pretty neat. I actually saw that fish, just saw the boil in the pollen. We snuck up there and I could see him all fresh. Cool. See you, baby. We did a lot of cruising, trying to see, uh, trying to see some fish on this last little bank, just turned to mud. We've got boils around the bank. You can see like they're chasing bluegill around. All of the fish we've caught have been fresh. A great sign. We're definitely going to come back here tomorrow. Like this is, this is just a little scouting day, but wow. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for good fishing. All right, got another fish located and it's a dandy. I'm going to say this is a back boater. Um, Rob, go ahead and send her home, dude. We don't have much light left. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh my God. She's doing, she's literally like trying to get a look at us. She's like right there. Okay, we've got another one here. We are just, I, I can't believe how many beds we're seeing. And there's fish like eating a little bit off the bank, but just so many up here. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Okay, here's what's going on here. This male, he is locked like about to eat it. Female is hanging back. She's just like, what are you doing? Why won't you just guard the bed? Meanwhile, I'm just trying to get in this action. Just trying to get all up in this action here. Come on, eat it. Oh, sorry, Rob. Sorry, my bait was moving. Took a tail off. Very common right there to see that, guys. Just to pick up a pincher and go. Just gonna flip it in as is. And I'm just trying to look for that white to move through this pollen. Got it. Oh, gave him a little scoot out of the water there. May have set the hook a little too hard, but all right. There we go. Fresh fish. And it's female swimming somewhere around here, but she just, she's not ready. Maybe later tonight. And the night is dark and the moon is high. Actually, we're on a new moon, so that probably won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and Gentiles, we are cruising another bank right now. Just end of the day. We're just literally just looking, just scouting to see. I cannot wait to get back here tomorrow. This water clarity over here, way better we haven't seen any on beds but we just know if we look if we look hard enough we're gonna see one up here in the shallows um i don't think that's a fish longer fish no or there no. never was no I, I just think we got a little bit of shadow issue okay we got a little excited, yeah, a little excited. It happens i think it's taco time go find our home for tonight get back after it in the AM. I am so pumped. I haven't been so pumped for fishing like this in a long time. <sighs> I'll tell you guys right now, we just had a godsend. The lady at the front desk is allowing us to park the boat up front at this hotel. So just to catch you guys up, me and Rob came to the hotel here. It's always a little worry, you know, when you're pulling up to this place like, huh? You know, I wonder if they even have places to park and plug and all that stuff when you got the boat trailer. We didn't have a spot. We literally just parked over here on the side and then I just politely asked the lady, I was like, is there, 
we got one of those boats that you gotta charge. And she was like, oh, sweetie, you just pull it right up front. Heck yes. Shout out to the best Western for hooking us up on that. We're gonna be right up front. We just walk out of the hotel room in the morning, charge and ready to go, fired up and head to the lake. So this is all about being on the tour. This is all just stuff that happens. Stuff you gotta think about. It's not just, you know, going out there and catching them. We're gonna settle in in our room and get ready for the next day. Yep. Yes. Oh, and by the way, there are some fishing freaks. You guys are making the video right now. I guess you caught us at the boat ramp. Uh, got some good little graffiti here on the back of the truck. It's so dirty. Oh, Garrett. Garrett was here. Thanks for the vids. Something extra down there. Love vids. And something over there. I'm not quite sure. But uh, thank you guys for uh, riding on all the, the old truck here. Uh, give us a little inspiration for tomorrow. Hope you guys caught some big ones today, too. Got, got, do, uh, yeah, yeah. got mixed berries. Got mixed berries. Got the mixed berries. Got all right, as you can tell, Rob's really excited singing the doo-wop. You know Bass are on beds when he's singing the doo-wop. Was it last time? Is it, oh, yeah, oom-bop. I think he said doo-wop, but it's a mix of old school and new school. Whatever. It means he's excited. I'm excited. We're here at a hotel. Did I just say something bad there? <laughs> I apologize. We're at a hotel, OSG, and Sarah, don't worry about it. We're going to do our normal uh, thing that uh, you guys probably don't see behind the scenes, but we're going to start downloading footage, get things ready for the next day. Make sure to subscribe to the channels here, and we will see you on the next day at the Tur. Big day tomorrow. Looking forward to it. See you then. There's another buff in there. I hey, can you remind me not to be an idiot tomorrow? I got two buffs on the boat. I could have had two on. One for my neck, one for my face.